Welcome back guys, today we are going to start the build for the Sylvia. And I have an extra few things I'm going to add. Nothing special, just a little different though. Oh, shoot. So, I was able to repair my engine mount and what I did was I sprayed it black. Yep. And there's a few parts that I've sprayed black too, kind of just to see how it will look. Like I said, this is like kind of just an experimental Sylvia, so uh, just to kind of see. I went straight black, as black as I could get it, and I went chrome to give it like a really, really, really shiny texture. So we'll see how the colors come out. There's a few things that I painted that I kind of thought might look good together. Um, so yeah, let's get going on with the build. I'm going to do performance build with this one. Um, and then, of course, you know, obviously everything I have to use standard, I will. So enough talking and on with the build.
right, so that looks like that's the build. Um, I did mess up a little bit on the colors <coughs> for the engine. Uh, obviously, the... Uh, wow, why is this so bad? Obviously, the yellow for the oil pan did not match the yellow for the... Uh, for the engine cover, which to be quite honest is fine. I'm not like hella stressed about it. I think it'll be all right. We're gonna sell a car. We have to make sure that the lights are good. You never know. Maybe it's a youngster driving this turbo. Get one up with it. There you go. Cool. Lights are aligned. Got spill down there. Not good. Lights are I think everything's in in place. I think we have. Uh, let's check. Oh, we're still missing a part. What the hell are we missing? I don't see any. Oh god. Relay type B. Oh, fudge. Is this now? Oh god, what is that? 100, 100, and this relay's bad. So watch out for these freaking relays, man. Another thing I think I didn't do uh, was where's my filter? Yeah, I did do that. Um, now we are good to go. Good to go. Alright, Sylvia. jump in that side, which I know is kind of whack, because... Oh, that sounds freaking sick, bro. Move it to entrance C. Get our little... Get our little shot in. It... I don't know. It doesn't look bad. It's just I still. Just, I don't know. The wing is the wing is okay. The wing has gotten better. I think it's just so far. It's just the tires. I really just don't like how thick those tires are. Um, let's take it to the track. Let's just wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. We're messing this up already. We cannot go to the track without a dyno session. Remember, this is a spec R, guys. A standard spec R. So, a number of gears, 349, and that's without any tinkering to the uh, to the gear ratio. All right, let's run a dyno test and see what we would score. Out of the box, it's 250, which is not bad, actually. 250 is decent for a car this old. Let's see how badly we can top 250. That's all right. I mean, it looks, you know, 361 and 401, 45% in horsepower, 41% in torque or newton meters. That's all right. <clears throat> it does, honestly, it does get some good top speed though. Just uh, going off of the gear ratios. So let's take a look and see what we can do on this on the speed track. And I did do my alignment, so we should be good to go. All right. Sylvia is not a bad looking car. All right, let's roll. Let's see what we can get. Rolling shots. 
to stop. I'm just gonna keep going. Until we hit the wall. Okay. So we hit a top speed of 3... 11. Ah, this thing struggles to spin. 311 top speed, alright. Missed our turn, boys. I'm gonna take it to the area where we normally spin our. Um, uh oh, where we normally spin our cars. So we've done the top speed test. This is our spin area. So our top speed test is finished. Now, wait, is that new? I have never seen this truck. So how is how is my car so big in comparison to this truck? That truck should probably be at least double the size. Oh well, whatever. All right, so the next test is the spin. The well, actually no. The next test is the reverse to first. I kind of like that as a thumbnail, actually. It kind of struggles to get, like, if you go straight off the ground, right? Try to start it all, it kind of struggles a little bit. That's going to be my thumbnail. Alright, cool. Alright, well, let's head back to the garage. <coughs> We, this is a pretty mean car. It's not, it's not amazing though. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's mean, but it's just not amazing. Let's move it to the car wash. Let's see if a car wash will give me any increase in value, yeah. So we can sell for 85,000. 85,100. Actually, you know what? This might not even be a bad thumbnail. Like, just this area would be pretty cool. Could do like, uh, let's see. Right there would be pretty cool. Actually, more. I don't know, you get more of the front or more of the side. That's really the deciding factor. But, uh, 85.7. So, yeah, we got a little bit more. Alright, it's been, been real. We bought the car for... 30,000. So selling for 115,000 is not bad. Uh, 115. And we made a pretty decent profit. Um, also, the car was kind of. There's nothing wrong with the car. It was just kind of meh. In terms of like what I did with the color and stuff like that. Where in the hell did my Ripson go? Wait, is it on the. Oh, you know what else? I want to use that um, container right there to get rid of my extra parts. Where did my, where did my Ripson go? Uh, well, this is concerning. I just lost a car. 
But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty much the Sylvia build. And if anybody has any uh, <clears throat> any like tests we should do on cars that we build, let me know, and I will definitely run them. Uh, but for now, that's about it, and I'll see you guys in the next build episode. Peace.